Good morning, <clears throat> Philadelphia Graveyard and History. Today, we are in Gladwin Methodist Church Cemetery, Gladwin, Montgomery County, PA. And we are here to visit Major League Baseball legend, Richie Ashburn, more affectionately known as Whitey. So if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, hit the bell so you'll get notified when I release new videos. Richie Ashburn, Whitey, also known as the Tilden Flash, was born Don Richard Ashburn, March 19th, 1927, in Tilden, Nebraska. He died on September the 9th, 1997, age 70, in New York City. He's buried here in Gladwin Methodist Church Cemetery, Gladwin, Montgomery County, PA. His major league debut, April 20th, 1948, for the Philadelphia Phillies. Last major league game, September 30th, 1962, for the New York Mets. He was a center fielder, and his career stats are Career batting average 308, hits 2,574, home runs 29, RBIs 586. Teams, Philadelphia Phillies 1948 to 1959, Chicago Cubs 1960 to 61, New York Mets inaugural season 1962. Whitey was a six-time All-Star, a two-time batting champ in 55 and 58, NL stolen base leader in 1948. His number one was retired by the Phillies. Phillies Wall of Fame and Baseball Hall of Fame member inducted 1995. Whitey is a Philadelphia sports legend, one of the most beloved athletes in Philadelphia sports history. With his center field glove prowess, base hitting ability, Ashburn was a big part of the Wiz Kids 1950 Phillies World Series run, ending with a loss to the New York Yankees. He remained with the Phillies until 1959 when he was traded to the Cubs. After two seasons in Chicago, Ashburn was selected in the 1962 expansion draft by the incoming New York Mets. In 19, the 1962 season would be his last as a player. He returned to Philadelphia to join Bison and Bill Campbell in the broadcast booth as radio and TV announcers. In 1971, Bill Campbell was released by the Phillies and Harry Callis joined the group. Bison retired in 1976 and Whitey and Harry worked every game together until Whitey's death in 1997. After a game in New York, Shea Stadium, when he got back to the hotel room, he called the team trainer at around 5 a.m. the next morning, complaining of chest pains. By the time a team doctor arrived, Ashburn had died of a heart attack. Whitey has very many memorials, one being his Wall of Fame plaque outside of Citizens Bank Park. Ashburn Alley in center field of Citizens Bank Park is named in his honor and there is a statue of him. And the broadcast booth 
at Citizen Bank Park, along with Harry Callis, who died in 2009, is also named the Richie Ashburn and Howie Callis Memorial Broadcast Booth. Ashburn is buried here with his daughter, Jan, 1954 to 1987, and his grandson, Christopher, who died in 1994. His wife, Herberta, is still living. And there's somebody left a baseball on top of his stone. And that is Whitey Ashburn, Philadelphia Phillies legend. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.